name is Shade, and you're here to join me for a 30-minute morning yoga session. So as I always say, you can uh, grab onto a strap or a rope or anything to help you uh, deepen your stretch. Also a block, which is what I'm sitting on now, or you can use a blanket or a stack of books. So today we're going to get started in an easy pose, legs across. We're going to take this moment to check in with ourselves, get that moment of clarity. If you're still waking up, give yourself a second, just another shut-eye moment. So close your eyes, placing your hands either face up or face down on your knees. And just check in with the breath. Now take a quick moment to scan the body, starting from the toes, work your way through the legs, up through the hips. Notice if they feel a little tight. Just bring your awareness without judgment. Work your way through the back and the core, the belly the chest, shoulders, the arms. Feel your hands touching your knees. Come back up to the neck, your head, your face, your eyes, your mouth. Now coming back to the breath, Noticing how the chest rises and falls. Take this moment to set your intention for today's practice. And with that intention, we're gonna bring our awareness back to the breath. I'm going to take three deep breaths together. Start releasing all the oxygen from the lungs. Take a nice deep breath in. And exhale through the mouth. Two more times. Nice deep breath in. Really fill the belly with air. And release. One last time, take a nice deep breath in. And release. Come back to normal breathing. Slowly open your eyes. And if you're sitting on a block or book or a blanket, just gently move that out the way, placing it to the side, along with your strap. I'm going to do something a little different. You're going to come onto your knees and slowly, gently sit back on the heels of the feet. If you feel some discomfort here in the ankles, if you have uh, some challenging areas in your ankles, you can place a blanket here for support as well. Take one breath here. You're going to slowly come up on your fingertips. And I'll just turn to the side so you can see me a little bit better. And you're going to curl those toes and slowly sit the hips back. If you feel some discomfort, you can stop here. Stop wherever you feel is right for your body. Sit all the way back on those heels and you'll really feel the backs of the feet just stretching and opening up. Take one more deep breath here. And on the exhale, come forward one more time, releasing those toes, flatten the feet, sit the hips back. This time we're gonna spread our arms out wide, nice deep breath in. Really fill the uh, lungs with air and exhale. Okay, that spine, hug yourself, tuck that chin. Really feel that stretch in the back. 
and release. You want to come back up on those, uh, curl those toes one more time. I know the first time doing this pose can feel really, really uncomfortable because we're not used to really intentionally stretching the toes and the back of the, the sole of the feet. It's actually one of my favorites because one thing you, we use a lot is our feet and our hands and our mouths. We'll slowly release those feet. Flatten them onto your mat. Sit the hips back. And this time we're going to open up the chest one more time. We're crossing the opposite arm first. So nice deep breath in. Bring that chest forward. Exhale. Curl that spine. Tuck that chin. And once you exhale, you'll feel your back expanding. You feel that nice stretch. And then come up to a neutral position. Still continuing to hold and hug the body. You're just going to shrug the shoulders up and down. Two more times up and down. Bring the breath with it. Inhale up and down. Release and slowly release those arms. I'm going to turn facing towards you. Just want to work on some uh, neck uh, movement here. So you're going to bring your chin down to your chest. And slowly drift that chin towards the right shoulder. Once that chin reaches the right shoulder, slowly bring your head back, chin towards the sky, and bring that chin down to the left shoulder. Bring the chin down across the chest and back to the center. We're going to go in the opposite direction. So bring your chin towards the left shoulder this time. Bring that head on back, dropping the head, bringing that chin up toward the sky, and crossing over, bring that chin to the right shoulder, and then slowly drift that chin across the neck bone and back to the center. Bring your head up to neutral position. Feel comfortable to keep doing that if you like. Uh, that's one of my favorite open neck openers that I've just started really implementing my own practice. But now we're going to come up on to uh, all fours. You're going to tuck the toes here and slowly lift our hips up into the side, keeping the knees bent here. Try to elongate your spine. We you want a straight line from the wrists to the hips. But keeping the knees bent because we're not our first downward dog. Start to slowly pedal the feet. Nice deep breaths here. And then slowly walk forward towards the top of your mat. Feet about hip distance apart. We'll take a nice deep breath in, flat back, hands on shins. Exhale, release. Slowly inhale, bringing both arms out wide. Allow them to come up and above the head, looking up towards the thumbs. Bring hands together, hands at heart center. We're going to go right into our flow. So release, releasing the hands out towards the side and slowly sink down towards the feet. And if you still feel a little tight here, keep the knees bent. We're going to allow the head to hang heavy and then take a nice deep breath in. Flat back, exhale, release. We're going to step both feet back into our high plank. Really take a second here, engage the core, make sure the hips aren't too high or too low. And we're going to keep the elbows close to the body, slowly exhale, come on down. Flatten the feet, we're going to take a nice deep breath in, and keeping the elbows tucked towards the body, we're going to exhale into our cobra. Keep your gaze forward, exhale, release, push it up. Keeping your knees off the mat, coming into that downward dog. So remember, wherever you are, you can keep your knees bent. But the goal here is to try to keep your, get your heels down to the mat. You can take a nice deep breath in and walk towards the top edge of our mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, begin to rise. 
Exhale, swan down forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Clap both hands down on your back. Step both feet back into the high point. Exhale, come on down. Flatten the feet. Inhale, into cobra. Exhale, release. Push the hips up towards the sky into our downward dog and slowly begin to walk forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Inhale, and rise. Exhale, swan back forward. This time, you're going to bring your walk your feet in together as much as you can. We're going to sink our hips down, bring our arms forward into a chair pose variation. So have those arms nice and strong and forward. Sink those hips down as if we're sitting in an imaginary chair. Engage the core, tuck the tailbone. Exhale, release into forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. And we're going to step back with the left foot. You're going to pivot that left foot so that the uh, toes are facing the outer edge of your mat. And we're going to inhale into warrior one. And exhale, open up both arms into warrior two. So if you need to, you can slide that back foot just a little to open up your stance. Wherever you feel comfortable is where we'll land. Uh, turn that front palm facing up. Bring that left arm down to the left leg. Nice side body stretch here. And bring that right arm towards the right knee. Extend with the left arm above the head. Turn your gaze towards the sky. And take a nice deep breath in. Bring your both arms out and cartwheel both arms forward toward your mat. Step that front right foot back. We're in high plank. Exhale, come on down. Inhale, rotate the shoulders back into cobra and release. Push the hips up to down with dog. We're going to inhale that left leg towards the sky. Bending that left knee. Nice little hip opener here. Exhale, step forward. If you need to step your foot up a little bit, that's okay. We're still waking up. And gently bring that right foot forward. We're going to do our halfway left. Inhale, exhale, release. Take a nice deep breath in. Begin to rise. Bring the hands above the head. And then slowly open back up. Sink the heart forward. Walk those feet together one more time. Sink those hips down. Reach out, reach out. Sink a little bit deeper if you can into that chair. Remember to tuck the tailbone. And if having your feet together is uncomfortable, that's okay. They can be hit this as a part. And slowly release. Bring both palms down. Halfway left. Exhale, release. We're going to step that right foot back this time. Pivoting the right foot. Inhale, bring them both arms up and open into warrior two. Flipping that front palm facing the sky. You're going to drop that right arm down to the right leg. Follow my side body open stretch. And then gently bring that left arm down to the left knee and extend with that right. Turn your gaze towards the side. So release, bring both arms back into that warrior two position. And we're going to cartwheel both hands onto our mat, stepping that left foot back. We're in our plank. We're going to exhale, come on down. Inhale, rotate those shoulders back into cobra. Really engage the core, the legs, release. Push the hips back. Come into that downward dog. 
We're gonna inhale, raising our right leg towards the sky. Exhale, down the knee. Really try to open up those hips. And release that leg, step forward. And slowly bring that left leg forward as well. Feet about hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway fold. Exhale, release. And slowly begin to rise. Exhale, swan back forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Flat both feet down, step both feet back. And we're going to uh, sit here for two breaths and our plank. Really engaging that core muscle. Or muscles, the core wraps from the front to the back. Now come on down to your elbows, still engaging in that plank. Two breaths here. And slowly releasing the hips. Come down to your mat. We're going to bring both arms back. We're going to go into like a flying, flying looking pose called uh, Lotus Pose, or Locust Pose, I'm sorry. You're going to take a nice deep breath in and rise. So take a breath in and exhale, engaging all your muscles, your arms, your legs, your core, squeeze the glutes, extend that as much as you can as you try to reach for your toes and release. We're going to go into that two more times. Take a nice deep breath in and rise. Really extend, flexing the toes, reaching back with those hands, engaging the back muscles, engaging the core, engaging the glutes, and slowly release. One last time. Nice deep breath in and rise. Make it better than your last. And release. Placing both palms underneath the shoulders. We're going to bring the hips back towards the heels of the feet. Bringing the two big toes together. Sink your hips down onto the heels into child's pose. Extend both arms forward. Placing your head on your mat. Take a deep breath here. And slowly come up onto all fours. Crossing at the ankles. We're going to sit our six bones onto our mat. So I'm going to turn facing you. Wanted to do a little more. Uh, on the mat this time, instead of being up in the air. This time we can really focus on opening up the hips. So you're gonna extend both legs forward. You can see the soles of my feet. <laughs> We're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Make sure the back is up nice and strong. <sighs> We're gonna inhale, bringing this right knee in towards the chest. Really hug it into the body. You might feel the tension or tightness in the hip flexors. We're going to take that right foot, crossing the left leg, continue to hug it into the body, and you'll start to feel that stretch in the outer hip. Now you can choose to stay like this with this left leg extended, or you can bring this left leg in towards the right hip. Crossing here for a nice little twist. We're going to inhale, bringing that left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, bring it to the outer edge of the right knee. And you're automatically going to start to turn towards the right side. You're going to bring that right shoulder behind you, turn your gaze towards the right shoulder. Remember to 
Exhale and deepen that stretch, that twist. And slowly release. Releasing both legs, you can just sit back on your hips. I'm sorry, sit back on your sit bone and releasing both legs. We're gonna inhale, bringing that left knee towards the chest. Hug it in, preparing for the next round. And then crossing that right leg, continue to hug it into the body. And I'll demonstrate on this side with the right leg extended. You can stay here or once again, you can tuck that right leg, twisting it around to reach the outer left hip. We're gonna inhale, bringing our right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, start to twist, bringing that right elbow outside the left knee and turn your gaze towards the left shoulder. You still get that nice stretch, even with the leg extended. And slowly release, untwist, unwind, and sit back. Release both legs. We're gonna go for our strap, rope, or string, whatever you have, maybe not string, whatever you have to help deepen the stretch. You're gonna place that at the sole of the feet. Making sure if you need to, you can remove any extra cushion from the cis bone, making sure the back is up nice and tall and straight. Let's take a nice deep breath in, and on the exhale, start to sink forward, try to reach for those toes or that strap, try to deepen that stretch. So slowly exhale, sink forward. And if you come to a place where you don't need the strap anymore, just feel free to move it to the side. And we're gonna hold here for three breaths. Notice that with each exhale, you can start to deepen the stretch a little bit more. Remembering that we need the breath to release the tension in the muscles. So try not to hold it in, release. And slowly come on up. I'm gonna try that one more time. I'm gonna go in without the strap. This time, inhaling, raising both my arms above the head. Exhale, sinking forward. And remembering not to force it. So if you start to curve at a certain point, that's where you wanna stop. You wanna keep the back as straight as you can all the way down. Two more breaths. And slowly release, swap the hands up. Now I'm just gonna turn around. So I'm on my mat again. We're gonna slowly, with every vertebrae, come down one at a time. Really engage that core if you need to. You can have both palms facing up towards the ceiling. Really engage that core. Coming all the way down. We're gonna inhale, bringing that right knee in towards the chest. Similar to how we did when we were sitting up. And this time we're gonna keep the knee bent, just using the left hand. You're gonna cross the body for a spinal twist. Cross it over to the left side. Extend with that right arm. Try to keep both shoulders onto the mat and turn your gaze to the right hand. Slowly release, coming back to center. Releasing that right leg. Hugging the left leg into the body. And 
And just using the right hand this time, extend with the left, cross it over to the right side. Try to keep both elbows down. Once again, you can use the book, the book or the blocks to support that knee. Turn your gaze towards the left hand. I really love doing this pose in the morning. I like to sleep pretty bold up at night, so this really allows me to open up, warm up the spine. Coming back to center, releasing that left leg. And I'm just going to scoop down just a little side so off my neck. We're going to inhale, bringing both legs into the body, wrapping both arms in. We've done a lot of hugging this morning. Sometimes you gotta hug yourself. It feels good. Slowly bring your chin in towards the chest. Try to keep your head towards your knees. Take a nice deep breath. And slowly release all limbs. Palms facing up towards the sky. Just want to give a little more time to Shavasana this morning. Allow your body to sink into the earth. You like to stay here a little bit longer, please feel, feel free to do so. If you're ready to join me, start to wiggle the toes and the fingers. And slowly tighten your fists and your toes as tight as you can, just ball them up. Take a nice deep breath in and on the exhale, release. Extending both arms above the head. Full full body stretch. And then gently roll over to your right side. Supporting the head and the neck into fetal position. Press up with your free hand, coming up, back into easy pose. Keep your eyes closed if you can. We're going to finish out with our three breaths. Take this final moment to check back in with your intention that you set at the beginning of class. Carry that with you throughout the day. Start releasing all the air from the lungs. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two more times, nicely breath in, and release. One last time, make this your deepest inhale, deepest exhale, nicely breath in, and release. Bringing your palms together, thumbs to heart, heart to thumbs. I thank you for allowing me to guide you through today's practice. I thank you for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful and amazing weekend.
The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste.